CBS 4 Stephen Seeley spoke to a local gun owner and his employee. And Stephen, what's their take on the new call to ban assault style weapons? Well, Maribel, the owner I spoke to says there needs to be some changes, but thinks the ones that have been selected won't work. An employee at the store believes the problem isn't the guns, but the people who have them. After the Parkland School shooting a couple of weeks ago, Dick Sporting Goods CEO Ed Stack said on Good Morning America he felt something needed to be done with firearm sales at his businesses. Quarters of the Second Amendment. I'm a gun owner myself, but we've just decided that based on what's happened and with these guns, we don't want to be a part of this story. According to the Dick's media statement, stores will, quote, no longer sell assault-style rifles, also referred to as modern sporting rifles, no longer sell firearms to anyone under 21 years of age, no longer sell high-capacity magazines, and stated they never have and never will sell bump stocks that allow semi-automatic weapons to fire more rapidly. CBS4 spoke to employees at Massey's Gun Shop and Range in Brownsville to get their perspective. Gilbert Garza is is a manager at Massey's and thinks what Dix is doing is all publicity. And they'll stop selling a certain type of firearm to show the public that they care, which we all care. We are hearts go out to these victims that happen in these shootings. Uh, but it's always a business decision at the moment. Garza thinks the focus shouldn't be on the firearms. Are targeting certain types of firearms because they portray them as the evil, evil person in this whole item. And I think it, it's not necessarily the type of firearm. I think we have to get down to the underlying reason of why this is happening more frequent now. The underlying reason he's pointing to is different triggers in specific people. Is it social media? Is it movies? Is it just the media in general? Are they just copycats? What is it that's actually causing this reason? It's not, it's not the gun. It's not a rock that kills people. It's the person who actually wielded that item is what's killing these people. So I spoke to a customer of Massey's Gun Shop off camera and he tells me that after Dick's decision that he will no longer buy from the sporting goods store. In the studio with complete Valley coverage, Stephen Seeley, CBS4 Valley, tonight.